So now, okay, what I will be doing from now is I will be creating multiple columns. A column is a kind of field in the table. Okay, so we will be creating here in this table level, and we will be also seeing here. If I create something there, I will show here. So which column type? How it shows? This is what our experiment now. What is this this class is about now? Okay. So first thing is career guidelines, right? For this particular table, we also want a number field. Okay. Maybe I will say C R G C R G zero zero one 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 something. I want to give the number. Okay. So number. First column name is number. How I can create a number? Okay, so come here, columns. Don't touch anything here. Okay, this is only for number field ma. Okay, go to here. Maybe no, not here. Here, just check this box. Auto number equal to true. Okay, first thing. Next thing is once you check the true, the prefix. Okay, uh, you need to give me one more one more minute ma, please. Okay, so the prefix part is how you want to start your number. Okay, for incident, the prefix is INC. If you go to incident table, okay, and then see auto number of this incident, maybe you can just also go here to see that. Okay, these navigations I will introduce later. Okay, but if you know already, it's fine. We will be seeing it. Okay, so see, this is incident column. Okay, and if you see incident number column, if you see here, what is that? Where we see in that? Uh, yeah, where where we have the details? Give me one second. It should be seen from there. Yeah, uh, task table. This is the table. Okay, so here the uh, the incident the prefix is incident. Okay, that is the reason you are getting INC prefix. This first three. Okay, for our career guidelines, what what one which one we can give career guidelines? Let's right? see our career guidelines. Okay, this prefix the meaning of prefix is this one. Clear? Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes. sir. Yeah. Now. If you go and yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. If you go and see number, number is ten thousand. Okay, number of digits is seven. Okay, what does it mean? Is number of digits. So if you count this number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After I and C, how many numbers you want it? Okay, so here they mention seven. Seven is kind of a default. You can keep seven, or you can also keep something else. Also, you can just see eight also. Let's say eight. Why should why to follow the system? Okay, same like incident. I I keep eight here. Okay, so it will give you now C R G zero 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 something. Eight characters it will give. Okay, second thing. Third thing is this number, na? This number. See here, just to remember thousand. I can give ten. I can give thousand. I can give five hundred. Whatever it could be. So just see what it will do. I will just say instead of five thousand, instead of thousand, na? I will say fifty thousand. I will say. Okay, fifty thousand. I am giving here. Fifty thousand eight. It's fine. Okay, just save it now. Right. <clears throat> so I saved it. Now I am in the new form. Just to refresh one more time. Okay. The number field should come here. Okay. C R G is our suffix or prefix, whatever it is, and we given eight characters. So eight things came, and the number we given fifty thousand. So fifty thousand plus one. It starts. The first number starts from fifty thousand. Okay. If I give one more enter, okay, fifty thousand two, fifty thousand three, fifty thousand four. Every time you create a new record, okay, it will generate a new number to the last number. There is something called padding, number padding. Okay, that is a 
not a required concept for you but in case if you get a question there is something called padding okay the padding will take you the last number last number from cashier database then it will add to the new number why i said cash is you may get a question okay uh, sir i didn't save this uh, i didn't save this particular thing what does it mean is when i say save this okay don't confuse me if you are confusing don't take this one but i'm just telling out of knowledge or curiosity that's it okay what does it mean is okay so see here you don't have any records here right everyone agree yes yes sir. yeah and you will be getting a num you will be getting a uh, record created only if you save or update or submit right until the time it will want to go to the database and then it won't save it in the database table record as a record right but still yes. whenever i'm saying new 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 it is adding the new number means from where it is getting the previous number you got it maybe it should go to the table and read the last okay let me save once maybe i saved it one okay fine now then go say just to try to understand this one it is just a logical thing question is logical so now eight came maybe we can say okay there is one there is one record in the table and the record have a number called seven so now when i say new it took the last number seven and then it added one iteration and then it given me eight it is making sense okay logically but if i say again one more nine came so eight where it took eight it didn't did it did it went to the table and then seen the last number and then added if it is the case if it is that is the true sentence then it is wrong right it should be eight only not nine you are getting it yes sir everyone you are getting no confusion right just to see the point okay don't see maybe the deeper part of it just point okay so in the table level there is something called padding okay maybe you can see or not i don't know okay so padding is like a kind of cache do we have it it is it will be there in the number field i think i seen somewhere <coughs> okay so uh, where i can see padding now i see somewhere ah oh, here okay so the script what the script will do is every time you say new okay there is something called padding where it gets you the last number from cache or something every time you do this one it will save some it, it will be saved somewhere okay it will get the last number maybe if we want to see this one javascript global right if i open this one now you will get mad ma we are all in initial level i will that is the meaning somewhere the number will be saved okay not in the table record database but somewhere else okay and then you get the last digit plus one it will iterate this is what the script will do if i open the script and show don't you don't be joining from tomorrow can we can we open it no no yes. no no i will you just see it go to one dictionary okay default value and it is a it is a script include because it is a global just go to script include and then see okay thanks okay uh, please now if i open now i will be losing so many students <laughs> <laughs> okay but uh, i will send you this one <clears throat> so uh, right so basic concept ma how the number is iterating there is something called padding Okay. in the number dictionary means number config number field okay this the script is running the script will check the last number and iterate it you don't come and see the last record created in the table okay if it is the case then this number would be always have eight 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 this is what the concept is minimum simple concept is <coughs> clear everyone yes yes others everyone ma please acknowledge yes okay i think